I, I've long talked about how I've used Fresh Direct, and it's been very interesting to kind of watch this. Uh, Franz, let me ask you first, what, what attracted you to Fresh Direct, and what do you plan to do with the, with the company now? Yeah, Becky, I think, um, as you already um, mentioned in your introduction, Fresh Direct is a very strong brand, uh, a leading brand in the, the New York tri-state area. Uh, a big market, a 9 billion online market, uh, and a strong number two position. So for us, it's a very nice complementary uh, part of our market, and it's adding also to our family of uh, great local brands. So we're very happy uh, to uh, to hopefully bring this to a close in the first quarter of this of, of next year. And what do you plan to do? Is the service going to change for customers on the other side? Yeah, Fresh Direct has already in a very nice uh, um, retention amongst our customers and a great reputation. But I think also with uh, combining uh, the knowledge of both companies, I think uh, we can make it even more uh, more competitive and compelling. And at the same time, also Fresh Direct is such a high fresh share. But I think also for our company uh, in the U.S. with other five great local brands, I think this is also a nice uh, moment of learning at the same time. Hey, David, I, I would assume that there were other suitors who had contacted you. Why did you go this route? Um, look, this is a uh, th th this is a tremendous milestone in Fresh Direct's history, and we are really happy to join the Ajo Delays uh, family of local brands. And that's particularly important when we looked at sort of how they have, uh, how they operate within their individual brands. And there's a lot of uh, individual identity, and that's something that Ajo Delays is uh, really, re really serious about with us, is protecting our brand, preserving the uh, sort of iconic brand that we have and a fanatical uh, customer base. So. Being that we're on top of our game, right? We have record NPS scores right now. We're we have tremendous, you know, strong double-digit growth. Uh, so we are we were naturally attractive given where the world is today in terms of adoption of online food, and we're really happy uh, with our decision to go with Ahold. Delays. You know, David, I just I just wonder what this is going to look like. And that's kind of why I asked Franz the same thing. Are you going to continue to operate kind of unilaterally and kind of doing your own thing? What will you be bringing in and what will look different to customers? Yeah, that's that, that's exactly right. Hopefully the only uh, differences that customers see are, are, are benefits. Uh, I think there is a uh, enormous opportunity and cost of goods synergies uh, with our delays. And we plan on continuing down the path that we've been on. Um, we are heavily, heavily focused on fresh food. And our mission, which is just making it easy to get fresh food, is one that we're, we're going to continue. We're uh, thinking more and more about speed, as evidenced with what we're doing down in Washington, D.C. We have the micro-fulfillment that we talked about last time will be coming up in January. We have two in New York that have been... Uh, doing really, really well over the last year, and we'll continue to try to get closer to the customer so it's faster, and while at the same time offering more optionality, meaning, you know, today we're at a spot where we can say you can get it right now, you can get it later on this evening, or you can get it tomorrow. So we are intent on um, preserving what we have in terms of the quality and the fresh, and the brand and just continuing to grow within our existing geographies. I don't, uh, you know, we're in a fairly large trading area and we see, you know, big opportunities for penetration within the existing area without even having to go further. What, what your plan has been for the last several years has been pretty major investments. Will, will that continue? So, so I'll, I'll let Franz answer as well. I, I would say on my side, mm -hmm. uh, Yes, we're we're going to uh, you know we're going to continue uh, focusing on what we did, which is really the fresh food, and now with speed. And I think uh, you know there's a, there's a lot of opportunity in micro fulfillment and same you know same day and on demand deliveries. That's where we're yeah, um, a lot. As David mentioned, uh, Becky, um, we are a company investing two and a half billion euros per year, uh, and this we do in our great local brands. So. In the U.S. on the East Coast with Food Lion and Giant and Hannaford and Stop and Shop, and now also hopefully soon uh, with Fresh Direct, and it will be in a very respectable member of our uh, family of great local brands. And therefore, also we will for sure invest uh, not only in bricks and mortar, but also in pure online uh, as from the next quarter, hopefully, and also in technology and in digital. 
but also learn from the, the fresh direct experience in being so close to the fresh supply chain. Uh, and I think we also can pick up uh, quite some interesting learnings from this uh, and looking at the customer retention and the, the, the happiness of customers of Fresh Direct in Manhattan, in New York City and in the tri-state. I think it's a big token of uh, appreciation as well. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.